Hi Aries, welcome to your October Twin General Tarot reading. Thanks for joining me, liking, sharing and subscribing. I really do appreciate all your likes, your feedback and your comments. So thank you for doing that. Those that were after a private reading, please feel free to email me directly. My email is in the show more section in the link below. The Ten of Swords. Coming out of stagnancy, which is good. Illumination might be a key factor for you this month. The Moon card five of pentacles, two of wands, queen of cups and the ace of cups. Okay, a lot of aces for a lot of the signs this month. Um, a lot of newness coming in in October it appears, so that's extra special. Starting off with the ten of swords, as I said, coming out of stagnancy, there's an old way of life that might be dying. I think this could be the end of a cycle for you that's coming in in the month of October. I feel there's illumination around you. I mean, we do have darkness here and we do have a beautiful new dawn, a new horizon, possibly foreign lands for some of you Aries that are wanting to travel or making travel plans. October could certainly be a month where you're making these plans, either traveling to coastal towns, traveling internationally, traveling for work, possibly choosing between or planning between two different locations to travel or two different destinations that you're wanting to travel to. <clears throat> Look, I think for a lot of you, it's about gaining clarity this month. Something that was hidden from you or was perhaps obscured or was in darkness. I think there's there's new feelings that are coming through and new notions, new information that's being um, accessed by you. The Ten of Swords can indicate a betrayal. You do also have the Five of Pentacles in the top right hand corner. So this could indicate that you feel somewhat shut off from a relationship or from someone this month. It could be towards the beginning of October. Uh, it could also be that someone around you has been hurt or maybe you've been hurt. Um, and it's about ending a cycle. So for a lot of you, you are putting your foot down Aries and you're saying enough is enough. No more. I've, I don't want to be left out in the cold. I don't want to feel this way. Um, and for a lot of you, it's ending a cycle with your finances. For some, it's ending a relationship as well. And it's because you have other things in plan, other things in store, other things that you're planning to do. For a lot of you, it's definitely with water sign that you're either ending or starting a relationship with a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Strong water cards here, Queen of Cups, the Moon, the Ace of Cups as well. And this is this anxiety or this intuition with the moon card. Your intuition might be heightened this month, Aries. Premonitions, dreams, symbols, synchronicities could be on the forefront for you this month. I feel there's animalistic behavior. It's like basic instinct this month for you. It could be with relationships. It could be that you're very in tune with how you're feeling or how your partner or the person you're interested is feeling with as well with the moon card. It's almost like there's an ending coming and you already feel it, Aries. It doesn't have to be with relationships. It can be with work. Maybe you feel you're ready to leave the workplace, ready to leave the company you're working for. Maybe you feel that you've been taken for granted. But it's basic instinct. You feel there's just something nudging at you, Aries, and you feel it's calling you to something else. And maybe it is. Maybe you have other plans. You've got the world in your hands here, which is beautiful. You do have other potentially life-changing, life-altering plans ahead for you. The moon can also symbolize creativity. Or if you've previously been dealing with an earth sign, a water sign, it could mean that this person perhaps once shut you off, but is now opening themselves up to you, which is good. There is growth here. But as I said, the moon card can also symbolize creativity. So creativity at work, um, emotional creativity, which I like. This is thoughtfulness. As I said, the darkness is lifting. There will be a veil. Things will be exposed here for you with the moon card. A more interest in dreams or visions as well and spirituality with the moon card, the cycles of the moon. This could this month could be an, a bit of an emotional roller coaster for you, influenced by the cycles of the moon. You may feel um, certain energies or certain emotions this month. Um, and very empathetic. I think there's a situation that will be coming in for you where you'll have or you will be very empathetic towards someone around you. It could be an earth sign or it could be yourself. Um, it could be someone that's needing help, someone that's underprivileged here. 
It could also be your finances as well. Maybe it's you feeling somewhat drained, financially drained or emotionally drained, maybe with the moon card as well, with the five of pentacles together. It could be lack of fairness happening within the workplace as well on a team project or maybe working towards a project. Maybe you've exercised a lot of creativity and you've brought a lot to the you've brought a lot to the work project or the whatever you've been doing in business or professional and it could be that you're not you won't receive the acknowledgement until the end of the month so it's almost like you're you're wanting this credit Aries but you won't get it until the end of the month so I think you need to just be a little bit more patient but there could be someone that is being a little bit unfair and it could be a betrayal could be from an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius Taurus Capricorn Virgo could also be a water sign um, but it could be that this person is being not authentic or is perhaps just um, putting their interests first so watch out for this person Aries I know you don't handle too much grief you're pretty good at you're pretty headstrong at handling things straight on so I don't see that this will be an issue uh, for some of you there is an opportunity to attend a charity event um, a community or a church so this may be um, on the forefront for you as well there is pets here we have animals so for some of you there is um spiritual religious um, messages coming through or perhaps spiritual or religious events that will show up to you I also feel like something might happen this month and you feel it's going to propel you into choices the two of ones it's almost like something that happens this month early in the month is going to be a catalyst for you to leave or start something new or be creative and innovative which is good so it's like a catalyst that sparks the change you need. Maybe they're, you're, you're unhappy where you are work-wise. You're not professionally accredited for what it is that you're due. You're not appreciated and maybe it's time for a career change. Or maybe this is in a relationship. But I think there's good change that's coming. And you'll definitely be looking within with the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Cups. You'll, you'll be looking within Aries and finding out which course of action is best for you to take. For some of you, it's definitely new lands, new ventures. Um, as I said, it could be a holiday, but it could also be a relocation. And it could be a massive change, what turns out to be a massive change for the better for you. So something sparks the change that you're looking for. And suddenly you have options. Some of you might be traveling overseas for tra uh, for underprivileged or charity um, work, dealing with underprivileged children or people with the char what looks like a charitable card here with the five of pentacles. For others of you, you're definitely saving for a new start, a fresh start elsewhere. And you're waiting for it and it's coming. October is definitely a month of progress for you. You could also be dealing with two different people here as well and one of them has shut themselves off from you or you feel you feel they haven't opened up to you and it's a bit frustrating and I think you're just left with a lot of questions with the moon card. Why this person has acted this way or what has happened and why. So I think that's for some of you coupled um, Aries out there. For those that are single, there is someone possibly coming in that is foreign, someone that is quite creative. Um, they could be an artist. They could work with rehabilitation. They could work with injured people. So they could work in nursing. Um, they could be a doctor. They could be studying to be a doctor. They could be studying to be a priest, a pastor. So it's someone that has that creativity, I think, within them already. And someone who's quite spiritually in tune with, with things going on around them. And it could be that you meet at a charity event or you meet overseas. It's either you meet on travels or this person is coming in, possibly bilingual. I always get a Southern Mediterranean feel with this card. It could be South America or Southern, um, Southern Europe. So this person may have links to these areas. There could also be for those in, in a general sense, it could be that pets or the elderly need need tending to or need caring so a visit to the vet 
a visit to the nursing home um, or looking after parents or paying to help look after them. If this is the case for some of you, it could be um, because we do see these injured people in the cards here. It could be someone that might be injured um, that you might need to spend money on for recovery. And it could also be visiting the physio, the chiropractor, something to appeal to the body because we do see... Um, you can see the the Ten of Swords, which is the swords in the back. This could be acupuncture, spine alignment or adjustment as well. So it could be that. So health-wise, it could be a few things happening. Um, but look, back to this, this change, I think there is something that will take place. It will throw you into action. This is the catalyst for change. This is the, the change you're seeking, I think, is coming through. And there's options available to you, Aries. There always is. You just need to dig deep and figure out what they are it can be very rewarding the changes that are ahead for you the queen of cups and the ace of cups this is a new this is a rebirth so for some of you there's definitely a rebirth happening in a relationship whether it brings you closer together possible engagements here as well happening <clears throat> with the ace of cups the queen of cups this is beautiful this is strong emotional fulfillment and adjustment happening here in particular with the water sign. So for those that have been dealing with the water sign, you might be coming back with this person um, and suddenly they're offering you a new life, a, a clean start away from the past, away from the dark, away from obscurity and into something that looks quite promising. But again, it's still in its early stages. So it might happen towards the end of the month or possibly even next month. Um, I think work-wise or business-wise, a lot of you have good ideas. Whether it's a new product or a new service you'd like to um, advertise or you'd like to sell, there is or a new project, a new creative pursuit that you'd like to um, implement. You're definitely thinking about it, but whether or not you have the money to fund it could be an issue. The Five of Pentacles could indicate that there isn't enough funds at this point in time to fund the project and to see it through. So maybe it's great that you've got the creative side um, down pat, that you're thinking about the plans creatively. Uh, you're already implementing maybe plans of how to see um, this, this idea grow or this business or what, whichever venture it is. I just think right now, Maybe monetarily, it's not the ideal time to pursue this. So um, just with your finances, it may not be that you have enough or it may be that the idea is quite costly and it's preventing you from moving forward. There could also be someone around you, a friend, a partner, a loved one that's struggling a little bit financially if it's not you directly, Aries, and they may be coming um, to, to your aid or you might be coming to their aid. And it's really an, a notion of saving grace here. So I love this. I feel you're feeling quite um, quite charitable this month, which is, which is good. So it could be health-related. We do see these, I mean, destitute. We see this man on cripple here, on, on crutches here. So he does look a little bit um, ill, um, a bit crippled here. But look, that doesn't mean... It could just mean you're working maybe directly with those that have been injured um, or visiting a chiropractor maybe, or maybe you're dealing with those who have um, in their recent past been drained of their finances, Aries. <clears throat> Some of you already have someone around them, in particular a water sign that's coming in. And you're feeling a very strong connection to this person. Now, whether you've shut them out or they've shut you out, I think there's a bit of back and forth that will go on. For some of you, there's a long distance relationship that will form. It could be because you're moving, this person is moving and you have to develop this um, long distance connection and you feel somewhat deprived of their affections because they're so far away. So you do feel a little bit closed off and, and, and shut off. And I think this is where the questions are arising. All the best. Hopefully we'll chat soon and thanks again. Bye for now.